Valve adjustment is an important part of motorcycle maintenance. Whether rebuilding the top end of an engine or performing routine service, valve adjustment is a critical part of the process. The Honda XR650R motorcycle engine is a four-stroke with conventional rocker arms and adjusters. With the piston at top dead center on the compression stroke, you can check the clearance between the rocker arm adjuster and the tip of the valve stem. Use a box end wrench to loosen the lock nut on the adjuster. Back the adjuster screws off enough to insert the blade six thousandths of an inch feeler gauge. On this four valve engine, both intake valves open and close simultaneously. Valve adjustment is always performed with a completely cold engine. For this engine application, a 45 degree feeler blade is essential. Insert the blade parallel to the valve stem tip. It should fit flatly between the rocker arm adjuster and the tip of the valve stem. Make sure that the blade is not angled. The idea is to just take the clearance out of that space between the blade and the adjuster. Parallel to the adjuster and the valve stem tip, there should be a slight drag of the blade as you move it back and forth under the adjuster. If in doubt about the slight amount of drag, try a 7,000 feeler gauge and a 5,000 feeler gauge. The 5,000 feeler gauge should feel loose. The 7,000 feeler gauge may not enter that space and if it does, it will be a tight fit. Learning the sensation of a slight drag is an important part of valve adjustment. When tightening the adjuster lock nut, even with the adjuster screw held steadily, you may discover adjustment is slightly loose and this is because of the space between the threads of the adjuster and the rocker arm. As you tighten the lock nut, it pulls the adjuster screw up slightly and can sometimes create a looser feel at the blade. If this occurs, you need to tighten the adjuster screw slightly more. Honda calls for 18 foot-pounds of torque on the adjuster lock nut. If you're uncertain what 18 foot-pounds is, use a torque wrench. If you're familiar with the use of a box end wrench and torque, you can tighten the nut securely with a box end wrench. Both intake valves adjusted now, we move to the exhaust valves. Here, the clearance is wider at eight thousandths of an inch. The engine is still at top dead center on the compression stroke, which means that valves have maximum clearance and the camshaft lobes are facing downward. Here, the lock nuts are tight and the use of a ratchet and socket places rotational force on the nut and reduces the stress on the rocker arm and rocker shaft mechanism. Once again, the blade must be parallel to the valve tip and the rocker adjuster screw. Always hold the adjuster screw steadily when tightening the lock nut. Expect that there may be some variation between the lock nut tight and the lock nut loose. It is often helpful to turn the screw slightly with the adjuster nut tightening to slightly tighten the adjuster to the blade. This compensates for slack in the threads and also aids in making that ultra fine adjustment. Keep in mind again that the adjuster screw threads may pull or lift up slightly as you set the torque on the lock nut. The important setting is the adjuster with the lock nut secure. So always recheck the clearance after tightening the lock nut. Slight drag with the blade parallel to the valve tip and the adjuster screw is the goal here. It takes patience to adjust valves. Take your time and make sure that the lock nut is secure before making the final check. The valve clearances are identical between each of the valves. Again, the intake valves have six thousandths of an inch clearance. The exhaust valves have eight thousandths of an inch clearance. This is 0.15 millimeters on the intake side 
and 0.20 millimeters on the exhaust side. On these clearances, Honda allows a plus or minus of one thousandth of an inch on the intake and exhaust sides and 0.02 millimeters plus or minus on those valves. If you need to rotate the crankshaft to bring the piston up to top dead center or to cycle the rocker arms through several rotations to make sure that the arms and all parts are in alignment, lift the rear wheel of the motorcycle off the rack and remove the spark plug. Place the transmission in a higher gear, second or third will do, even fourth, and rotate the tire in a forward rotation very slowly while watching the timing mark come up. Bump the tire gently to bring the T mark into alignment carefully. Use a higher gear to move the flywheel slower. Remember to reduce the amount of tension on the rocker arms if the lock nut is too tight. Use a ratchet and socket for rotational force instead of tugging hard at the rocker arm. If you need to rotate the crankshaft during a valve adjustment, make sure you maintain proper valve timing by rotating the rear tire only in a forward direction. Always rotate the rear wheel in a forward direction to be certain that the timing chain is pulling the valve timing correctly. You want no slack in the chain while making sure that the camshaft timing is accurate for top dead center on the compression stroke. On this engine, the exhaust valves needed attention because the freshly ground valves and new seats had lifted the valve stem higher in the head. This required loosening the adjusters. Here, a light film of lube guard on the valve cover o-ring helps assure a proper seal and preserves the o-ring. Install the valve covers, tightening screws evenly to prevent warpage or damage to the o-ring or the mating surfaces. Tighten these bolts to 9 foot-pounds torque using your torque wrench. Tighten evenly and in cross and bring the tension up uniformly. This is all part of a periodic valve adjustment that is necessary to compensate for valve seat recession and wear of moving parts over time. Proper valve clearance adjustment assures accurate valve timing and also prevents the burning of valves that are set too tightly. When valve clearance is too loose, there's not enough valve lift and valve timing duration is also affected. So for maximum performance and maximum longevity of the engine, it is essential that valves be adjusted periodically. The Honda service intervals are every 600 miles or 1,000 kilometers for inspecting the valve clearance. This may not require adjustment during each valve adjustment check Keep in mind that any major change in valve clearance could be an indication of engine trouble. Valve adjustment is very much a part of four-stroke motorcycle maintenance.